Hello, little dreamers. Welcome to Sweet Dreams. Tonight, we have another classic bedtime story filled with enchantment and wonder. Get ready to go on a magical ride to Wonderland with Alice. Let's begin. Once upon a time, in a place not too far away, there was a curious little girl named Alice. Alice loved to explore and discover new things. It all started on one sunny day, as she was exploring her garden. She saw a rabbit running towards a tree and she followed it to a rabbit hole. The rabbit quickly went down the rabbit hole and Alice wanted to see where it led. As Alice tumbled down the rabbit hole, she found herself in a strange and magical world. Everything around her seemed to be out of proportion, odd looking and unlike anything she had ever seen before. She landed softly on the ground and looked around in wonder. She walked past the table and saw a tiny door on the wall. Alice approached the door, knelt on the floor and peered through the keyhole wondering what she could see on the other side. But all she could see was a beautiful garden on the other side. Determined to explore further, Alice tried to open the door, but it was locked tight. She started looking for a key that could unlock this door. Just then, she noticed a small golden key peering out of the edge of the table. Excitedly, Alice picked up the key from the table and ran back to the small door. She tried tried it in the lock. To her surprise, it fit perfectly, and she was able to unlock the door. With a sense of adventure bubbling in her heart, Alice stepped through the door and into the most magical garden she had ever seen. But as Alice wandered through the garden, she realized that everything was not as it seemed. The flowers talked, the trees danced, and the animals wore clothes and carried on conversations. Alice couldn't believe her eyes. As she explored further, Alice encountered a caterpillar sitting on a mushroom, smoking a hookah. The caterpillar asked Alice who she was, and Alice replied, I hardly know, sir, just at present. At least I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I think I must have been changed several times since then. The caterpillar looked at Alice thoughtfully and said, Well, you're certainly not the same as when you first arrived in Wonderland, but who knows what adventures lie ahead for you. With those words ringing in her ears, Alice continued her journey through Wonderland, encountering all sorts of strange and wonderful creatures along the way. She met the Cheshire Cat, who could disappear and reappear at will. Suddenly, the cat looked like a giant and sat on a mushroom. The cat talked to Alice about the endless wonders in Wonderland and told her to see the Mad Hatter on her way forward. Then she met the Mad Hatter, who was always having tea parties with other magical animals in Wonderland. The Hatter invited her for a cup of tea, and she said yes. She spent time with the Mad Hatter and his animal companies while enjoying a good cup of tea. She heard about the Queen of Hearts, who ruled over Wonderland with an iron fist. The Mad Hatter and his friends were talking about her, and Alice never thought she would get caught by the Queen's guards. The Queen liked Alice at first, but soon started disliking her. One day she got so furious with Alice and ordered her guards to have her beheaded. But as they got ready for the beheading, Alice grew into a magical giant and defeated the Queen and her army single-handedly. She did not harm anyone's life, but left the queen and her army with a warning, so they would rule Wonderland peacefully. In the end, Alice discovered that Wonderland was not just a place of wonder and magic, but also a place of growth and self-discovery. And though she knew she couldn't stay in Wonderland forever, she would always cherish the memories of her incredible journey. She said to her friends from Wonderland, with a sense of wonder and gratitude in her heart, Alice turned to go home. But then she suddenly woke up from her sleep and realized she was sleeping while keeping her head on her sister's lap near a beautiful river. She was confused at first, but soon understood it was all a dream. But she told her sister all about her strange but magical dream that helped her learn a lot about herself. And that was the end of another wonderful bedtime story. If you enjoyed this magical fairy tale, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more enchanting stories. Until next time, may your days be filled with wonder and joy. Goodbye.